Hello again. This time I'm here with the double poison swords. Here you can see I got one and two poison swords. They've got different handles. I tried to make them identical or tried to hope they were identical because, you know, this game is RNG. But yeah, we've got one sword right here, which is attack power and delete damage, um, which is pretty good. Uh, plus poison, obviously. And then we've got another right here, which is plus criticals, which I would say is even better. Um, I think they're the same damage. I, I didn't look at the damage for the first one, but yeah. And then I've got the chrono staff, which is you know good as always, especially if you're running double melee. It's good to have something to to back up that melee. Um, but yeah, here's the swords. They're pretty pretty freaking cool looking. And we get right into it. Oh, one more thing I always forget or sometimes forget is the exosuit. Right now I have impale, but I want critical wherever that is, um, this one, <laughs> critical, adds 40% chance to increase melee damage by 200%, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get right into it, um, let's see, so poison, man, I, I think I just did a, <laughs> I just did a run on poison, yeah, I did, I did soul harvest, so I did poison, I'm, I'm not gonna do poison, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna do sandstorm, or not poison, sorry, vile halls, I'm not doing vile halls, I'm gonna do sandstorm, even though, you know, I've got poison stuff doing sandstorm. Um, I think, at least, if this dungeon's good. This seems like a pretty good dungeon. Probably a boss fight to start. Um, I'll go left and then I'll take every... I think this dungeon is... I should be taking every left. So I'm going to do that. See how it goes. But yeah, these beautiful swords. Um, I think that... One of them is legendary. Actually, yeah, I should have looked at that. But one of them is legendary. One of them is rare. I'm guessing the critical one, uh, the one with plus criticals, is rare because it only had one uh, stat or perk, while the other one had two. But yeah, this room is a cool starting room. You press this pressure pad over here, and it opens this gate, which then you press this pressure pad, and that opens the chest or the podium to open the chest. I have no keys, but I think there's always a key. Not over here, I'm just getting some gold. Um, I think there's a key in one of these containers or coffins, I guess. Yep, there's, there it is. You also get a couple gems, which I don't need. Actually, I do need, because <laughs> I have a staff. I don't. I probably don't even need them, but they're there. Let's see what I get, power gem. Yeah, but you can see the glow on this one makes it, makes it legendary. The not glow on this one makes it rare. Um, but, I mean, both of them have a green glow. This one just has more of a interesting glow to it. But, yeah. Kill some dudes. What did I hear? Oh, a scorpion. Ugh, got him. Ugh, perfect. Oh, scorpion. Oh, jeez. Just missed three times. Good on me. Um, bam. It is fun to break vases uh, by throwing bottles at it. Oh, okay, yeah, so perfect opportunity to use the slowing thing. Oh, great, yeah, easiest boss to get a free chest. Oh, and I think that's exploding, yep, exploding it. Okay, uh, you know, I was going to go left every time, but I think there's a key over here, so I'm going to hop on over here and grab a key nope i got unlucky there's just a potion but that's fine i'll hopefully find a, a key over here and then come back to get that but yeah so this room is huge it's usually or sometimes a boss boss room uh so the the golems might spawn in here um okay so i'm gonna break that good good and it, it would be so much easier for me to break the exp oh jeez. Yeah, die, dude. Uh, it's easier to break the explosion things with the Chrono Staff. I could just, you know, hit it with that. And that doesn't even use up the Chrono Staff. Um, okay, wow, level 2 chest. But yeah, we got one key. I'm not going to open that because this tier 3 right here is much better than the tier 1. But yeah, here we go. Got my key. Poke it in there. And then, voila. Give me some coins. And an ice bomb. And rare sword that looks kind of good but i don't think it's as long as this model i don't think it's quite the same but yeah here you can see i broke that 
doesn't use up my gems. So <laughs> if you ever want to loot around with boxes, best way to do that is with this Chrono stuff. And I'm going to slow that guy so I can throw a sword at him. Okay. Oof. That was a lot tougher than I expected. And he blew up super slowly. Okay. And, but yeah, I got a tier three chest up here that I'm going to go ahead and grab once I take the elevator. Okay. Here we go. Kitching. Tell me what I get. 200 coins, invisibility, and rare shiv. Can never complain with a rare shiv. Oh my goodness. That's scary. I have no clue where that guy came from. But goodbye. <laughs> Took him a while to explode there. Okay. But yeah, so I, I talked about in the, the Four Realms video a little bit about um, the community poll that happened. And this video is probably going to come out a decent amount later than that Four Realms video. However, I am still super excited for it. What in the world just happened there? I have no clue. Um, also, I don't think I've ever been in this particular room. Oh, gosh. Um, when it was Sandstorm. I've been in this room in Underworld and, like, when there was the snow theme to it. But, man, this is kind of cool. I like it. Um, also, also, a little tip that I haven't really mentioned much is I tend to be able to hit these guys um, really easily by going to a particular side. So it, instead of going straight on, I go to the side of them and it kind of evades their block so I can get around it with either sword. But, oh yeah, I was going to go left everywhere. So I think I came from there. Let me, let me double check. Actually, I have a map. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I came from there. Uh, sorry, there. I'm going here now. Um, okay, there's going to be some dudes that spawn. Usually, this room has some bugs. Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay. Scorpions, no biggie. <laughs> Got him. This seems like a particularly easy dungeon for some reason. Oh, another scorpion. I think Sandstorm just just happens to be pretty easy. I've I've kind of mentioned before. I, I don't think I mentioned in the Four Realms video, but I think I've I've kind of mentioned that in other videos that Sandstorm is the easiest. I'm gonna go this way, um, just because it is one of the lower. Like I think Underworld was meant to be one of the easiest, and like when you go left to right on the realms, it's easiest to hardest, but. Uh, because Underworld has a lot of frozen guys, that makes that particularly hard. And this one doesn't tend to have a ton of frozen guys. However, it does have some here and there. So that is what could make this hard. But I'm kind of just owning. I'm just, I'm in the groove right now. Oops. I, as I say that, just totally missed that scorpion. Ooh. Almost got hit by the frozen guy. Okay. There we go. Good, good. Uh, uh. Yep, jump on down here, zombie. Haha. <laughs> and when they have helmets, I don't really think that does anything. It's just, just a thing. I don't know if it actually blocks or gives them extra, extra health. Um, but again, I, I kind of do a ton of damage, so it could just be that damage does a lot. But yeah, so no, I'm... Oh, the key. Back to that, that topic of the, the polls, the community polls. I'm, I'm excited to see that the, uh, the devs or the other gate team are working on getting community input. Also, what in the world is up there? There's like just a light, a white light <laughs> with like something. I, don't, I have no clue. Interesting. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm excited for whatever they add. Uh, but end game content would be freaking awesome because I mean, you guys, you see how much I play and how much random crap I have that I don't really need. Um, ooh, let's pull this. 
I'm gonna keep the key in my hand to get this chest. I've been in this room a lot, but I'll say it again. There was a key on the shelf, and then there's always this chest here from the lever over there. But uh, I would, oh, another thing that would be really cool is adding enemies into these dark rooms. It would be scary for the beginner players and, and especially hard for beginners, but I don't know. Increasing difficulties, I think, should almost definitely have it. But yeah, we're here already. The uh, final part of the dungeon. Hopefully it's not just a bunch of easy bosses so I can have fun taking out some enemies. Looks like it is not easy bosses. Fantastic. However, fairly easy enemies. But I think these swords are just particularly strong with the 75 damage. That's, I think, the strongest that swords can get. Um, I could be wrong on that. Ooh. There we go. Jump kills. Ugh. No. I thought I, I, was, I was trying to hit both of them with the jump kill. <laughs> that would have been awesome. But I missed both of them. Here we go. Ugh. I suck at jump kills. What can I say? Get his legs. <laughs> Yeah, if you just chop their legs off. Oop, that was a poor swing. You can see his leg fell off. And especially the ice guys. I mean, those guys die in one hit no matter what. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Ow. Hopefully I don't die to this. Oh, I can't really block either. The one downfall to... Uh, yeah, let me just... I don't know. One downfall to not having a shield. Um, let me just get out of my... Oh kill this guy real quick. That's important. Um, I can take as many shots as I want. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, another ice guy. Let's kill that guy. Um, here he is, two ice guys. And bam, and give me, I'm also in a, a slightly smaller play space right now than usual, so you might see pop-ups of the play space border. Here we go. Oh, right on top of him. Explode him as I land. That would have broke my ankles if that was real life. Um, okay, here we go. So, purple wasp, impossible to kill. Uh, melee, if you don't have... Actually, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try meleeing this guy without... Here, come close to me, wasp. Come here. No, he's, he's not going to He's not gonna come close to me. Ugh. Oh, okay. You can get him. You can get him. What did he do? 50 damage? Yeah, it's not terrible. If he started stinging me with a stinger, that could have been a little rough, but it made it especially easy when I just I slowed him. And then it was no problem to do. I did most of my damage when he was slowed, but if he wasn't slowed, that could have been, could have been a little tough. But yeah, yeah, as you can see, oh, 65 kills. That was just like... I don't know, that felt easier than normal. I was <laughs> just one hitting everything. These these swords are just powerful, I guess. Um but fun stuff. Definitely enjoy me some some cool swords, cool looking swords. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video and peace out.